Happy Tuesday, everyone. This is Leslie Ray with the Tuesday Tutorial with Digital Lights by Luby Lou. Today I'm going to share with you a cute little treat pouch place card. It's going to be great for if you're having a dinner party or whatever. Uh, for this project, you're going to need some Wicked Digital Papers, Wicked Frames, cardstock, glue and double-sided tape, a marker, craft knife, lunch sacks, and treats. And by lunch sacks, I mean like the sandwich bags, okay? So let's get started. Let me show you what I'm going to make. This is what I'm talking about. It's got a little ledge on it here. It's got your treats in there. And it's got one of these frames that's placed on top of some of the Wicked Papers. And I think they turned out really cute. Um, made bigger ones. And then... This one I want to make, I'm going to share with you, I'm going to make out of the cat. Now, the other two images that you just saw, their insides are white, but because the cat doesn't meet right here, this image ends up having the orange on the inside. But I find it easier to use a um, craft knife to do this. If you're really handy with scissors, you can do scissors. Um, and I, I'm cutting on a little pad that I have underneath the little self-healing pad um, and I'm just following this black line and when I'm done following the black line I'm going to come back in with a um, marker just to go along the edge of it and I'm going to cut in here around the kitty I think this one is very cute I love it to pieces. And I'm going to cut out this window. In my publisher program, I just simply layered some digital paper down and then I positioned um, where I wanted the frames. And I made sure that it was below the half mark because I'm going to fold these at the half mark. Um, you can just play with the sizes. I'll measure how wide this one is in just a minute for you. Um, this was the size that worked well for me. I'm using the whole width of the paper and I had my I think my cat's around three inches. So let me see here real quick. And there we go. Getting those last little corners there. And where this is not perfect. Um, the marker will help hide some of the sins there. Uh, we we're going to see how wide this was across. This is four inches across and then eight and a half long. And so once I got my frame cut out, I'm going to go around it with the black and I'm just going to, um, I like to turn it over to do this because then I have less of a chance of actually drawing on the image and this gets the core of the paper colored. Now when I'm done, I will turn it over and if there's any white showing, kind of come back around. I want to especially kind of come back right here by my kitty. Make sure that's nice and solid. Uh, this right here, there. So now I've done that and I'm also going to go along the edges just to kind of finish this off. I think it looks better when they're when they're edged like that. Now, so I folded this so it'll fold in half and then I folded it at um, for this one, I think it's like three and a half, and it is folded it at three and a half and three and a half, 
using my scoreboard so that I had a good sharp crease. So now here is the basic little plaque place card holder. Now you could put all kinds of fun stuff in here. You could use it like a frame, put a picture in there, whatever you want it. For this I've made a little bundle of treats and what I did is I just took a Ziploc bag, just a normal um, size Ziploc bag like this. I cut off the top and then I folded it so that it's going to fit and you can barely see here there's a little bit of kind of fuzz right there. That's why I took some double stick tape and folded this over in half so it'll fit right here in my box. And then I have some tape up here that closes it but also is going to act as my method of adhering it to the inside of my little kitty pouch here. I love double stick tape. You could also staple these in if that works faster for you and you want to do it really quick. And I'm going to make sure that I don't have tape showing. And so my kitty with his candy will go right there. And I like to glue the bottom shut. It's just how I am. You can glue it completely shut so that it's a skinny, um, just the, the width of this or you can give it just a little bit of width to hold your pouch of candy and then it'll sit like that. So like if this was your flat surface, it would sit up like that. Isn't that cool? Very fun. This would be great for dinner table settings. If you wanted to, you could personalize each one, put a name on them as you print them out. Um, another fun thing to do with this that I wanted to do is to take, for the kitty, take some jiggle eyes and stick, see if I can get a little dot right there. Ah! Did you see my eye go into the hole? And stick my eye onto the spot. There we go. It's perfect. And one more jiggle eye. Yeah. And if your glue kind of pops off the edge there, just tidy that up a little bit. And then let that sit and dry. So now you have kitty with jiggle eyes. I think that's too funny. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial today. Thank you for stopping by. Be sure to check out what Christine has for us next week on Tuesday Tutorial with Digital Delights by Libby Lou. Thank you. Have a great day.